Hey guys, Austin from Measure Square here, and in today's video I'll be touching on the most important parts of building your products in Measure Square 8 so they can be reflected optimally in Measure Square CRM. The products created in Measure Square 8 are far reaching. By the end of this video, you will have the tools you need to streamline your data entry down to a single point. Hopefully everyone's already familiar with how to create a product, but for those who aren't, I'll go over it quickly. You name the product and select its type, then you can make sure that the unit is correct and select an appropriate color. Enter in the product dimensions and pricing per square foot, and you're done. This way is quick and easy for estimators that stay in Measure Square 8. But with the added utility brought to you by Measure Square CRM, we'll want to level up our understanding of a couple key fields. The first level up we'll recommend is actually tied to the price information. If you would need the container quantity of something, then you can select the sell by checkbox. You can have a label for any container. For example, adhesive would need a four gallon bucket or pail. You can select manage list to add them in. Let's also add in a few more while we're here. Then we can enter in the amount per container or a spread rate in the box below and set our pricing per container. Now our reports should show our container amount, which is how many buckets, you know, how many canisters, etc. of our material we will need instead of the square feet we're covering. We can also add in our vendors the same way we added our labels for our containers. Vendors are then given an email address in MeasureSquare CRM, which makes it easy to request pricing. By including the vendor SKU as well, you can populate that information automatically when sending the email for your price request to the vendor. One of the biggest ways you can save time is by taking the time on the front end to configure add-ons. An add-on is a complementary product that is present in 100% of the rooms the parent product is located. Each add-on will need to be created as a product and have their add-on box checked. Here are a couple example folders that contain most of my add-ons. My installation materials folder for my sundry items and my labor services folder. When you add on your products to the main flooring product, you will be able to set the add-on method as well. This is important to your estimation data, so make sure you have the correct one selected. I recommend checking out our add-on guide to make sure you're calculating correctly. I'll leave a link for you in the description. Oftentimes, larger projects will require multiple products that are all the same, but come from a different vendor, cover a different amount of space, or have different pricing. For these situations, it can be useful to double or triple up on those before they come up. For example, an LVP from Shaw will require a different adhesive and labor products than, say, an LVP from Mohawk. The diagram I'm using is very simple. It just includes a few rooms to showcase a variety of different products. As a special tip, if you double click on the project items folder itself, you can see a summary of all your products and edit them individually. You can sort them by column and even move your columns to view them side by side. I've created a sample project in MetroScore CRM to show you how easy it is and how much time it really saves. I'll import those products. You can see it's quick and easy to grab all the information from the diagram. and we'll send a price request to Milliken. Notice how easy it is with the vendor field already entered. Finally, trade is a field that you can utilize to make your bids more organized in MetroScore CRM. When you import your products into your bid document, you can toggle this button to separate your products by trade. This will automatically create folders to help break down that price. It becomes easy to figure out the cost of carpet for building one or how much you're spending on vinyl for the medical building. And the folders here are what has been automatically created to help separate some of our values. We can then further simplify this by merging our add-ons. No need to display all of our sundry items. We're just gonna keep our list short and simple. All the time we've taken on the front end, building our products with as much information as possible has saved us a substantial amount of time already for even this small example. The best part is, now that I'm set up and ready to go, 
All that time will continue to be carried forward for each project I create well into the future. That's all for now, and thanks for watching. Remember to like the video, and subscribe to see more MeasureSquare content.